Welcome to East Kalimantan, Borneo. Here's a vlog on what it takes to fly fish for red kaloi. This is day two. It's our first morning here in camp. Slept so pretty well. Had a big old boy join me in the night. Look at the size of this guy. He's missing a lead. Poor dude. But I think he'll be okay. Big old bug that looks like a leaf. Check him out. Reptile Rob wants to see him now. The Katie did. Of some type, relative of a grasshopper cricket. Nice. I'll bite the shit out of you too. Really? Yeah. He kept landing on my leg in the night, waking me up for a second. Some of them are predatory. Looks like a female. Here, show me the mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's a sucker. Could turn into a locust, huh? If <laughs> you had enough of them. Cool. This is the peak fashion of remote jungle camp. Crocs. Crocs. Ryan just lost his in the river though. It's too much mud. <laughs> Styrofoam cooler did not last long as Ryan mistook it for the hard bodied one and sat on it. Quick tour of camp. It's a little tense. Big tent. Hello. Hello. Good morning. And then you get the kitchen. Lots of fresh veggies. Cleaning station. Come down here. Got my little home gym. Water filter. Working hard. Made a little home gym then. And then we've got the rod rack and some clothes racks. And then you come down here. And oh, we get some steps. That's getting nice. And we got the boats that we fish out of. Taking off up river for the start of the first full day. Woo! This part of the morning is extremely pleasant. Just got to pack the earplugs, but I'll do journaling for probably the first 30 or 45 minutes. Recap the day prior. It's very nice, great scenery. We just saw a hornbill. Yeah. That was a rhinoceros hornbill because you can see the red on the top of its head. It's got a black body, white tail. They're so cool. Pit stop number one, Reptile Rob is in a tree. This is Ming Gon going over tactics with the guys. Ming was the first person to ever land a red cloy on fly. Reptile Rob is going to fish with him today. Woo. Took a little rest break. Now it's time to head down river. Biggie's up. We ran up river further to give space between our boat and Rob's boat. Little high vis on the big cockroach. Look at that. Oh, baby. Looking good. Nice. Like right way up in there. Okay, yeah. No, no, like here, you see this? That pocket right there off the bank? Try to hit that just in case. You've got an open cast. Yeah, perfect, beautiful, right there. Because they've got structure, you know? And they pull it out, yeah. Just got a strike from a colloy. Eric did a great job putting it back in there like four more times, but then it got caught on a root. Got a oh. it Didn't even strike it, just it, moved the water around it. it. Just, Probably just trying to see what it was. Just came to look at it. Interesting. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh. Put it back in there. Put it back in there just in case. Fuck it. <laughs> Did you see what happened? I I just was trying to get the camera going. What happened? I was pulling it out to try to get away from that log. Yeah. And a huge wake came behind it. And I stopped. And then it was... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so the little retrieve got the bite, huh? All right, live action. We've got hornbills downriver. Yep, oh yeah. The wind just flew away. Oh, the wind just took off. I think they're all gone. What was that? Something just fell in, I think. I don't know. Check the middle foam line, though. That might have been right. I think it was something falling, though. Down where the hornbills were. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Sick. And I had the camera rolling. First hornbill documentation. Fine. You can hear them flying. Boy. You can't see them. <laughs> so you just know they're there because you can hear them. 
very so cool. It's pretty cool. We were reading this morning how hornbill populations really help the forest because they eat a lot of different figs. One just flew off and they disperse the figs throughout the jungle because they travel so much and they're much more effective at dispersing the seeds than any other animal that consumes them. So it benefits a lot of other animals in the ecosystem and obviously benefits the forest as well. And so if the hornbill population goes down, the forest as a whole suffers. What's going on here? Doesn't look very family friendly. Everyone's favorite subject, my foot. My toes. They're banging on him. I landed this red colloy shortly after, super fun. Just had a nice little lunch break. Time to get back to fishing. Here is a coal outcrop. It looks like rock. You can just pick it up with your hand and break it, no problem. It's crazy. And that is why this river might cease to exist in its current form if certain individuals have their way. Hopefully they don't. We were going down river earlier today. I could smell something. I tell the guys, it smells almost like nail polish. Then we stopped not that further far down. Look what it was. It's a bunch of durian. Our boatman ran off in the woods and found it. Excited to try it for the first time. We stopped at this beach so Ryan could put the drone up in the sky. It struggled with elevation because of the dense foliage. We came back to camp to very good news. Reptile Rob had landed his first red colloy on fly and a real nice one at that. Oh yeah, oh. look at that. Look at those collars. Yeah, open bite. Ooh, very nice. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm getting steamy. You may need me. They are just coming like this. Come on. Nice. This is Taloy, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go up, go up. Go up. Ah. Oh. Watch, watch. Locks there. Locks there. Yeah. Nice. Taloy. Nice. 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 Yeah! 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 Yeah!